Uh, two quick dreams, um, pretty short. Uh, both of them involved uh, President Trump. The first dream I had was in May of 2021. Hang it, flip that thing up and hang it up. Got a phone in the background. I had a dream President Trump was speaking. Uh, in the dream, it appeared he was weak and backing away from draining the swamp. He was backing away from standing and making America great again. As he was standing speaking, someone grabbed his hair and tore, tore off. When he tore, grabbed his hair, he tore a toupee, a toupee off. And then we realized it wasn't Donald Trump, but a fake. Mm. And then later on, it was sometime later, I had another dream. Uh, I was, I had built a huge, tall tower like deck. I'm a builder by trade and I built this, was building this big deck. And I thought this is the highest deck that I ever built. As I was climbing down it, I thought I was going to have to build several platforms for the steps to come down. So they weren't so steep. As I got to the bottom, it started to teeter like it was going to tip over. Um, I grabbed it to steady it so it wouldn't collapse. Well, Donald Trump and some other guy walked up behind it and said, you need to get it tied in up there. You need to tie it in at the top first. I said, yeah, I know. I was hoping to get these platforms built, but I guess I should get it tied in at the top first. I got it steadied and everything was going to be okay. Hmm. Interesting. Well, there's two ideas in these dreams. The last one is the idea of a platform, having a platform tied in up at the top that steadies all who stand on it. I believe it again, national level political dream. It's talking about the country. Um, it's, it's really interesting because what we're starting to see in America is a, is a drastic separation. Yeah. We're seeing a separation of agendas. People are being exposed. There's no place to hide. Like people that would say one thing, well, it's about healthcare. And it was, no, it was about murder and it was about blood sacrifice. And it was about, their selfish choices and, and, and other things, not, not to make this political, but there's a separation that's occurring and there's going to be a place left that America can stand. And there's going to be, I believe a platform that's probably going to completely and entirely crumble because they live in a world where they think they're the majority and they're not, and they have no idea that they're not, they really think they're right. And they think that everything they're doing is okay. And we've been hearing for years that God was going to turn the tide. And the tide is turning. There are suddenly happening. There are things that are occurring in America. And <clears throat> it's it's being tied in at the top. I mean, starting with with what's happening in, in some of the highest branches of government in our land, we begin to see things that are shifting and things that are literally being nailed down. Precedences are being set that won't be reversed ever or for, you know, 50 or 100 years even. Um, and there's a lot of people that are very unsteady and very unshaky. And a lot of times um, there's a generation, not the whole generation. I, I don't mean a generation by meaning an age group, but I mean there's a group of people that are alive in this generation that are very, very confused. They're confused about who they are, what they want, what's good, what's bad, what's right, what's wrong. There's like no moral base. There's no base of good or evil. And so it's a very very unsettling place to try to stand and that place is going to be it's going to be removed um, but there is going to be a platform i believe and i'm not talking necessarily political parties right. but there is a sure foundation as we know and there is a sure foundation that's as sure as standing on a rock that <clears throat> is going to be rock solid for people and i believe for this nation to begin to rebuild some of the damage that's been done in recent years by crazy people who have had agendas to destroy America and to destroy our children mm -hmm. and make no mistake. They're losing. They're yeah. absolutely losing. Yes, they are. Um, so, yeah. So I believe that that's, that's what the second dream is about. Um, the first dream is the idea of what I would call identity politics. Um, <clears throat> in this next presidential election, there's going to be a lot of people that are going to try to be Donald Trump like because of, they saw how polarizing he was for the conservative base. Um, and, you know, some of the things about the way that he was and what he did, a lot of people find very, very attractive at a leader, you know. And uh, <laughs> but I think it's a warning to look for the imposters. 
because there's going to be a lot of people that are going to want to ride his coattails and claim his name and, you know, say, well, this and this, I'm just like Trump or blah, blah, blah. And they're not, you know, they don't have the roots in their mindset. That's what the hair toupee represents. They don't have a mindset that's rooted in a level of understanding of things like the art of the deal or how to do diplomacy or how to negotiate or whatever. Um, <clears throat> they're people that simply want to be in power. And so they'd say anything and do anything. And, you know, both parties in America, both of the predominant main parties in America are full of people like this. Yeah. Um, so again, it's not a red, blue, Republican, Democrat, it's a good versus evil thing. Yep. And so we need to be aware and we need to be able to check the roots of the mindsets of some of these people, you know, grab their hair and give it a tug. And if their head falls off, if their toupee is gone, then they're imposters. They're not people that have deep rooted mindsets. You can tell, you know, so often the media does these things where they pull up something that whatever politician said two or three years ago, that was 180 degrees out from what they're saying now. <clears throat> That's bad leadership. We don't need people like that. We need people that, again, related to the second dream, that can provide a firm platform and a firm foundation. Who are you? What do you stand for? We want to know what we get, we're going to get if we elect you as our leader in America. And it's been shifting sand across the board, almost categorically in both parties in recent years. And I believe that that's changing. Mm -hmm. And I also think because there are people are having dreams about Trump and all of that, um, the idea of you know, a lot of people think that Trump means Trump in a dream, which is not necessarily the case. Um, but before Trump, how could God ever illustrate somebody that was Trumpian, you know, that had the courage to stand on his own, that didn't have to placate to any party, that wasn't somebody else's boy, you know, but was firm and confident in making his own decisions, even when it was unpopular and doubling down every time they didn't like it. We wouldn't have a grid for anybody. I don't even know, even if we went all the way back to World War II, I don't know that we could have a president that we could say had those exact qualities. And so it's the idea that God definitely has leadership in mind for America. And I believe it's going to have the characteristics of a person like Donald Trump. They're going to be strong. They're going to be have great diplomacy. They're going to be able to play chess at a higher level, there's a lot of people that aren't going to understand what they're doing, and they're not really going to care. Um, but they're going to move things forward, and they're going to they're going to get things done. And I believe we're seeing the benefits even of the last four years, even in recent decisions that we've seen in the last couple of weeks. Mm -hmm. well, I know I had uh, just listened to if you listen to Johnny Enlow, he was just on yesterday. This made this dream jump back out at me that I had in this back some time ago. But he said, be careful, he said, because they're going to try to tarnish him and his his reputation, what he stood for anyway. He said they may even try to bring in a lookalike or a, a double and it won't be him. And this it reminded me of this dream. So I wanted to share it tonight. He, yeah. he said, I'm saying they will. But he said, but there might be. He said, sometimes when you think it's him saying that they have what they call, I call them body doubles out there. But uh, they kind of mm -hmm. make the dream jump back out at me. Well, and they certainly have the technology, the AI technology that they can they can make Abraham Lincoln say things on video that you would swear was real, you know, and so there's a lot of deception and the media, unfortunately, they have a call to be the prophets of the day and the heralds of the day. Um, and they've chosen to be false prophets and they've chosen to tear down rather than build up and they've chosen to be divisive again almost categorically and not just the media the tech companies people that are censoring other people that are censoring conservative views and family values and and all these things and not just the tech companies either but companies at large we are in a state of spiritual warfare in america and it's being fought at the company level there are companies that are making decisions that you know, Disney learned a real hard lesson on what they thought about, you know, what the American public thought about grooming children. And I think it's going to happen over and over and over again because they think it's an anomaly and they think they either think they're right or they think they can bum rush the rest of us. The problem is for them is that God is using dreams and other ways, research and, and, and whatnot, and certain speakers, a select few 
to actually wake people up to what's really going on. And once people are awakened, they're not going to go back to sleep. And so the old tricks and the old stuff, the same old lies that they told categorically again in decades past, they're not going to work anymore. And right. so we're going to see a, a woke, and I don't mean woke in the liberal sense, I mean woke in actual true understanding of truth and what's happening in America sense in the electorate that's coming up, I believe, in, in the midterms this year and in 2024 in two years. Troy, did you play a part in politics in any part of your life? Well, uh, it's interesting you ask. My wife reminded me, I haven't. I mean, I've always been, I guess you could say, a politi politically inclined. And just this last November 2021, um, I showed up at the polls and the Pennsylvania State Constable six-year term. Well, Pennsylvania State Constable is the oldest law enforcement in, the, in this country, basically, especially in Pennsylvania. And so I, as I was there, it's just like the Lord said, write your name in. So I wrote it in. I walked outside and told a few people and I sent an email out. Well, I got written in and won not just our own district, but two districts as a Pennsylvania state constable and didn't even run for it. Didn't, didn't spend a penny to do it. <laughs> and then just, just past May, me and my wife both got on the ballot for Republican committee man and committee woman. And we, and my son did, and we all three won the seats. Mm -hmm. um, so, and, and we didn't seek these, we weren't running after them. It's just like God opened up the door and we're here. <laughs> yeah. I think both wow. of these dreams point to that. The first one, as John said, you know, that's, I think that's what we have now. It's the fake people. And as you said, there's going to be somebody who may just represent him in the future and pull his to pay off and just expose him. But it's not just the Republican party that's going to get exposed to both sides. I mean, it's a uniparty, let's face it. Mm -hmm. Everybody's going to be exposed eventually. And the second dream, you know, as a builder, it must be pretty unnerving to build something and find that it's teetering after you've done your best job to shore it up and build it under your own power. And as it's kind of teetering, Trump walks up and he gives you some advice because he's a builder too. You know, and it's sound advice, tie it at the top, the platform that you're going to be on tie it to the top. So in your future political career, this is your advice and your and your strategy for winning the next election for the next time you step up to the plate, which will be soon. And your platform won't topple, you'll succeed. Tie it to the top. Mm, that's good. Yeah. One one thing I just want to make clear, just in case I don't I'm, I've read a couple of the comments, just I I'm, I'm, I'm a Trump. I'm, people say, are you a Trump supporter? I said, no, I'm a God supporter. But I said, I like Donald Trump. In my dream, I never took that he was the fake. It was a fake that was standing up there with a toupee on. They got jerked off and find out it wasn't him. Just so that your audience is clear that that's that in my dream, what looked like him and was talking wasn't him. Somebody had a toupee on. And right. when they jerked it off, it exposed them and it was not him. And it was a lookalike, a fake, because I could, I wouldn't have a dream. I was a little distraught because it's like, man, this don't, this Trump, he's, he acts like he's backing away from everything, you know, like, like he's not wanting to make America great again, you know, and all the things they did. And then when, then at the end of the dream, when the tope got ripped off, found out it was a fake. Yeah. yeah. Wow. People will be dreams. dreams. What's that? Interesting, Interesting there, dreams. There will be those who are deceived. By, yeah. you know, by the fakes. Well, that's that's not the only dream. I'll, I'll let somebody else take it, but I had a couple other Trump dreams and some other dreams along that, along that same line that, that, uh, that's, that's make me wonder. It's kind of pointing in like in all in this kind of direction. Um, but mm -hmm. I, I can share them sometime again. Yeah, do that, Troy. Absolutely.